Hi everyone, welcome to our video lecture on section 8.1 dealing with integration by parts. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at how do we evaluate definite integrals using integration by parts. So let's go ahead and jump in and take a look at the following example. What is the integral from 0 to pi over 4 of x times sine of 2x? Okay, so using integration by parts and defining our u as x so that our du is simply 1 dx and our dv as sine of 2x dx so that we obtained a v of, well, this one here very similar to the ones that, well, in fact, we this, we've done this integrals above. We're going to get here a negative 1 half cosine of 2x. And whoops, forgot that dx here. There we go. Alrighty, so using integration by parts here, we're going to get a u times v. So we're going to have a negative 1 half x times the cosine of 2x, but this time around, because it was a definite integral, well, we're going to need to evaluate our u times v at our lower and upper limit of integration. Now we're going to go ahead and subtract the integral of v du, which is going to give us here a negative 1 half that I can go ahead and factor out, times the cosine of 2x, but this one here being a definite integral, we're also going to be evaluating from 0 to pi over 4. Now before I forget here, since we factored out a negative 1 half outside of the integral, then this one here turns into a positive. And now we can go ahead and figure out, okay, well what is the integral of the cosine of 2x? So this integral here is going to give us a 1 half sine of 2x. Alrighty, so putting everything together here, the definite integral is going to be equals to a negative 1 half x times the cosine of 2x, where we're going to be evaluating at 0 and pi over 4 and finding your difference, plus a 1 half times another 1 half sine of 2x, which I'll simplify here shortly. This one here is going to give us a 1 fourth sine of 2x, but this one here is also going to be evaluated at 0 and pi over 4, and we're going to be finding their difference. Because again, all of this is just the fundamental theorem of calculus. Alrighty, so let's go ahead and evaluate this. So using the upper limit first, we're, hand to get, we're going to have a negative 1 half times a pi over 4 times a cosine of 2 times pi over 4 minus now evaluating at the lower limit, but since our lower limit is zero and we're going to be substituting it in here, then we're just going to get here minus a zero. All right, so this is what we're getting for the evaluation on the first term, but what about the second here? So for the second, we're going to have here a plus one fourth times, all right, now we're going to have here a sine of two times pi over four minus a sine of two times zero. Okay, so let's go ahead and simplify this, but first I'm just gonna give myself a little bit more room here. There we go. Alrighty, so on the first term here, we have a cosine of two pi over four, but we can go ahead and simplify this one here as pi over two, but what is the cosine of pi over two? The cosine of pi over two is a zero. So we're getting a zero minus zero, plus a one-fourth. Now what is the sine here of essentially two pi over four? Well, we can simplify this as the sine of pi over two, and lucky for us, the sine of pi over two is simply a one. So then we're gonna be multiplying here a one-fourth times one minus a sine of zero, but the sine of zero is zero. So minus zero here, uh, it's getting too crowded, let me move it a little bit more, there we go. So, our final result here is simply going to be a positive one-fourth. And there we go. We evaluated our first definite integral involving integration by parts here. Alrighty, so as you get to see here, we're following the same formula, the only difference here is that once we get the u and the v, well, we still need to use the limits of integration here to evaluate them and find their difference. Alrighty, now let's go ahead and take a look at one word problem here. 
All right, so this problem tells us that a drug taken orally is absorbed into the bloodstream at a rate of T times E to the negative 0.4 T milligrams per hour, where T is the number of hours since the drug was taken. And we want to go ahead and find the total amount of the drug absorbed during the first six hours. Okay, so this one here, not too bad. We have to set up our integral here. So the amount of drug absorbed in the first six hours is gonna be equals to the integral from zero to six of t times e to the negative 0.4t dt here. Alrighty, so this one here looks very similar to the other problems that we've encountered here. So let's go ahead and use integration by parts. Now for this one here, I'm gonna go ahead and define my u as t so that our du dt is gonna be equals to, or our du here is just gonna be one dt. Now the dv is gonna be equals to e to the negative 0.4t, so that once we figure out a v, we're gonna be getting negative one over 0.4 times e to the negative 0.4t. Now, if we go ahead to our calculator and divide one over 0.4, you'll see here that our answer comes out to a negative 2.5 times e to the negative 0.4t. Okay, so now that we have our u and our v, let's go ahead and use integration by parts. So our u was a t, so we're gonna have uv, so t times a negative 2.5 times e to the negative 0.4t. And now this one here is going to be evaluated at zero and six minus the integral from zero to six of a negative 0.25 e to the negative 0.4t dt. Okay, so let's see here. Give myself a little bit of room. Let's see what we get. Well, simplifying our work a little bit, we're gonna have a negative 2.5t times e to the negative 0.4t, evaluated here at zero and six, plus a 0.25 times the integral from zero to six of e to the negative 0.4t dt. Now again, lucky for us, we already performed this integral. We have the answer right here. So we're gonna get then, over right here, a negative point, oops, negative 2.5 e to the negative 0.4t. All right, so let's see. Now this is gonna be giving us, now we haven't evaluated the integrals yet, I'll do it in a second. I'll just simplify the problem a little bit here. A negative 2.5 t e to the negative 0.4 t, evaluate this one here is zero and six, we'll find the difference in a second, plus now 0.25 times a negative 0.25 is gonna give us a negative, so I'll turn this one here into a negative, and whoops, you just recognize the typo here, it's not 0.25, it's 2.5. So this one said 2.5, this one here was a negative 2.5. Alrighty, so a 2.5 times a 2.5 should give us a 6.25 times e to the negative 0.4t, and we're gonna be evaluating this one here at zero and at six. Alrighty, now I'm gonna go ahead and plug in this values into the calculator to see what we get. And the final result that I got here was equals to 4.322 milligrams. So there we go. This was the total amount of drug absorbed in the first six hours. Is that a lot? Well, I don't know the medication, so hopefully it's the right amount. Alrighty guys, so this concludes here our video lectures on integration by parts. Now, this is a technique that we will be coming back to over and over again. So if there's any questions, anything that might have been a little bit iffy, please let me know. I'm here to help you, and I'll see you in the next one, guys. See ya.